Good morning, friends. Welcome. Welcome to Earthrise. It's a collaboration between Higher Grounds Coffee and the Earthwork Music Collective. My name is Dan Rickabus. I'm a musician from the Earthwork family. Proud to be a part of this collective and uh, proud to share the morning with you this morning for Earthrise. Higher Grounds is an organic fair trade coffee roaster in Traverse City, founded by our dear, dear friend, Chris Treeter. And uh, human connection has always been a part of their mission and uh, activism, social justice has always been a part of their mission. And uh, I was really moved and excited when um, Higher Grounds reached out to the Earthwork Music Collective, asking us to be a part of this collaboration where we play for you in the mornings. They were generous enough to send me some Sumatra roast bags of coffee, which I've been enjoying. Here, cheers, good morning. And uh, I have to say one of the most moving parts of this experience for me has been this beautiful prompt that Higher Ground sent to the musicians. And it's talking about what the idea of earth rise means to the folks at higher grounds and they say uh, here I've got the quote here for you the term earth rise comes from the photograph of the earth taken from lunar orbit in 1968 by Apollo 8 astronaut William Anders and uh, sent us to this wonderful, wonderful, deep and uh, kind of inspiring blog post that they wrote about the Earth rise. So this photo was one of the first times that humankind saw Earth from so far away and it kind of captured the imaginations of many, many people in a, in a very intense year, 1968. A lot of change, a lot of very, very hard changes, and just a tumultuous year for our nation. And um, I just took a history class, an American history class, so I felt very uh, connected to this, hearken back to this uh, kind of volatile time of 1968. My friends who uh, lived through that year always talk about how immensely just overwhelmingly uh, hectic and chaotic it felt and I feel like there's definitely a resonance now in our times where we're called to do more than just survive and get by and look out for our own economic liberty and see what's really at stake right now and I think that's what the Earthrise photo really really means to me. It's it's like Carl Sagan's beautiful uh, pale blue dot speech. If you haven't heard that, you should. It's a beautiful, beautiful speech. And um, it's just a really profound time to kind of take a step back. In this case, a light year away or so, and look at Earth from a distance and just realize how fragile our collective life is here and how we can bring work into our own lives to not only fight for the planet but for each other because we're all that we have on this floating pale blue dot here and uh, there's a lot of injustice happening right now in this country and it's high time we make some real change that's been long overdue. So as you wake into your day here, as you kind of come into your day and, and listen to this tune, just uh, try to think about this moment and being present in this moment and also 
what you can do, what we can all do to make our uh, orbit here on this fragile, beautiful little reality here on planet Earth. Figure out what we can do to make it more just and more loving for everyone here. And because of all these themes here of the Earthrise photo, I'm going to play a song called Astronomy. Uh, I had some new songs picked out that I was considering playing, and when I read this beautiful prompt from Higher Grounds, I thought, well, I have to play Astronomy. It's just, just right in line there. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Cheers. 
So again, it's a beautiful thing to be a part of a, a collective, like Earthwork Music Collective. Uh, we've been hard at work kind of honing in on what the organization is all about and uh, trying to create an organization that meets the times and, uh, and you know, does uh, the kind of community, uh, speaks the kind of community truth that we needed to speak right now. And um, it's just such an honor to be uh, working with such beautiful people in the Earthwork Music Collective. So check out our new website and uh, the Earthwork Music Store. And Higher Grounds has just been wonderful to the collective. Uh, there's been such a natural collaboration over the years. And, uh, you know, some of my favorite musical projects from early on, earlier on in the collective were these beautiful Higher Grounds um, kind of journey collaborations where they would send musicians or help get musicians uh, into uh, foreign countries where they can uh, raise awareness on an issue and also have this creative space to make music in a way that they never would have before. And that's an unbelievable thing uh, to have support in that way. Um, so we're very, very grateful for all the different um, ways that Higher Grounds interacts with the Earthwork Music Collective. Um, and uh, yeah, it just seems to make a lot of sense just because you know, like I said, uh, social justice has always been a part of Higher Ground's mission as well. So I'm really, really uh, honored to be a part of this series. Uh, it's going to be every Monday at 9 a.m. still going on here strong through August. So tune in every Monday at 9 a.m. I believe uh, we've got Chris Good uh, from Friends with the Weather. We've got Ben Travers, otherwise known as Holborn coming up and I know uh, Seth Bernard, founder of the Earthwork Music Collective, will also be joining you all. And just uh, take care of each other out there and have a beautiful day. I hope this helped you kind of wake up into your day. Be well and take care of each other.